Hello everyone and welcome to Geeks for Geeks School. In today's video, we are going to discuss how much coding is required to learn in school days. So, we are going to cover a lot of things over here and this will give you an idea of how you can plan your day in which you can code easily each and every day, okay? So, let's start with today's session. Now, here, uh, my first question to all of you is that do you have coding in your school syllabus? If yes, then it's a plus point for you. If no, no worries, we are here to help you out with that only, okay? So, let's start. Now, the next thing here is that I have divided this into three sections. First is a section of students who belong to 5th to 8th class, okay? Next is students who are in 9th and 10th class. And the another section is that students who are in 11th or 12th class, okay? So, let's see all of them one by one, okay? Let's start with 5th to 8th section first. Now, the students of 5th to 8th sections are basically kids and they are very curious and they are very excited to know about new technologies and new things. So, uh, there are a few technologies that I have named over here which students are very intrigued these days to know about. So, basically AI is one of them. The next thing is machine learning. So, basically students want to know that how robots work, how Google search work, how the recommendations on YouTube comes like according to what we watch. So these are things that excite students and they are very intrigued to know and go in deep for these things, right? The next technologies that you can see are hacking. Hacking is one such word that every student know and he or she just wants to know everything about hacking. They just want that, okay, I'll learn hacking and tomorrow I'll hack my father's phone or some, someone's phone or someone's Facebook ID or Instagram ID, right? So these are the things which like come in students' kids' mind and they want to learn these things because of doing some crazy things or enjoying stuff, okay? And another thing is game development, which is very popular these days. Each and every student want to learn game development because they want to create their own game and want to learn a new things and create games like subway servers or chess or sometimes like mini malaysia or pubg so a lot of these things right so these are the technologies in which students are entreated a lot of times but let me tell you very straightforward this that uh, it's okay you are excited to know these things it's okay you are curious to know these things but the main thing is that if you will not focus on your science and maths at this point then you will not be able to come to a level where you can work in any of these technologies. I'll break it down in a few minutes in more easier words, okay, for you all. Now let's move to the next slide. Here you can see I have name of few people we are which like who are very popular. So Mark Zuckerberg, Bill Gates, Elon Musk, Steve Jobs. Students, kids usually take inspiration from these. All of these are masters, right? So nowadays everyone knows that in each and every domain the importance of computer science or the importance of technology is very much right so everyone wants to learn a uh, little bit about coding little about little bit about the technologies you know but it's not at this point of time in your fifth to eighth standard you should not only focus on these curious things and waste a lot of time don't you just don't study uh, other subjects like social science math science and other subjects and not to fo and only focus on coding part or how ai works how deep neural network works how machine learning works how machine learning predicts something so if you will just start focusing on these things and ignoring your own studies, then it will create a lot of problem. And there are some students who are basically so much excited that at the very early age they decide that I will be a I'll I'll have my own startup. And these days because of uh, Shark Tank, as you know, that it has launched in India. So students are very intrigued by the idea of startup and each and every student want to uh, create his or her own startup. So that's really great, but uh, let me break it very clearly to you all. See, at some point, me being a mentor, I know that at some point, whatever knowledge you get from social science or science, that basically physics, chemistry, or you can say also maths. So these are the things specifically maths and physics. These are the things which sometimes do you do use in your coding uh, career also. Okay. Also one thing that it is uh, it's a harsh reality of uh, our uh, system or whatever you can say that you need to have good marks in your 10th and 12th. Then only you can uh, go on uh, 
go on and on and learn few other things which will like help you to get a good college then good placement then good job and then you can work in these technologies the cycle goes like this but to get good marks in 10th and 12th you need to have the knowledge of science math social science all of these subjects and to uh, score good marks in 10th and 12th you have to have a basic you have to have a structure if you will not study from class 6th uh, till class 8th and you will think, or you can say class 9th and you will only think okay in 10th standard i will only focus on my subjects and i will learn everything and i'll do really good but that doesn't happen students you also like you always have to start from basic see for example if i'll uh, if i'll say that a student has not learned a b c d right so how can he or she can write sen sentence if a student doesn't have knowledge of nouns verbs pronouns how he or she can write a sentence he or she will not very simple so you need to have a basic knowledge you need to have a foundation so that you can get good uh, you can get excel in your future okay i hope that this will make clear to all the students of class 5th to 8th that it's good that you want to go in coding and it's really nice but you have to focus on your school studies also that's really important now coming to the part uh, now if you have school uh, like uh, coding in your school or if you don't have see if you have coding in your school it's very simple take whatever like just start learning whatever is in your school syllabus by that way you will achieve two targets one is that you will get good marks in your examinations and practicals another thing is that you will keep on learning things which will help you in future another side is that some students who will not have computer science in their schools or not that level of computer science that you want to learn so what you can do is if you are a very beginner i would say that even first or second class student can start using code.org or scratch platform from there you can understand the meaning of what loops are what variables are how the structure of program is basically code.org helps you a lot in understanding how you can build a game or how you can build a logic so you can work on that and then later on what you can do is you can pick up a language now how to pick a language how to choose a language uh, when you start coding it's very simple just talk to any of your senior just try to know what is the programming language that your school uh, you like has in computer science syllabus every school in 11 12 has a uh, language in their school right in 11 12 every school has a language uh, in computer science it, it will be either python for cbse students or uh, Java for ICST students. So just know that most of the times it is this only. Just know that, and after knowing that, just start with the basics of these uh, language, okay? And slowly, slowly, gradually, you will understand each and everything. And there are multiple playlists that you can refer of how you can start from the beginning, how you can just uh, learn few things and create good programs from just few things only. And then slowly, slowly, you can improve on your coding skills with over the classes when you will grow up and when you will uh, reach in your ninth class then for that i already have a whole uh, slide where i'll be explaining what you can do in your ninth and tenth class so we will come on that and then we'll also discuss what you can do in your 11th or 12th class okay so let's go to the next slide now now uh, now let's come to the points uh, for the students who are in ninth and tenth class now uh, the first thing is that uh, if you are in ninth class, you have to focus a lot on your studies. Why? In your, on your subjects. Why? Because uh, ninth, ninth is a basics of 10th. Now you will say, no ma'am, ninth, like the syllabus of ninth is very different from the syllabus of 10th syllabus and it is not the case. But let me tell you this thing very clearly. See, uh, I'll only talk about science and maths for now. If you don't know about the redox reactions that you have in your chemistry, uh, and if you don't know about what a boiling point is, what a, a melting point is, and a, a, how to write a, basically how to write a chemical equation, how to balance a chemical equation, if you'll not learn these basics thing basics properly, then you will be struggling throughout in your tenth, eleventh, and twelfth. If you will take eleven science in 11th and 12th okay so uh, this is one thing this is one example another example is if you will not have a good knowledge of what force is what velocity is what speed is what is the difference between velocity and speed what is the difference between acceleration and a lot of things in physics 
okay if you will not have knowledge of these things it will be very difficult for you in your 10th standard and in coming standard to understand like where we are talking about velocity where we are talking about speed why we are talking about speed in certain section why we are talking about velocity in certain section and so on and on and also you will be struggling a lot with the si units and all of that so that will be a whole different scenario where you will be struggling with a lot of things okay so for that uh, also in english and hindi most of the schools have this um, have this that in ninth class at least i know for icsc that the books of uh, english and hindi are same for ninth class as well as 10th class so basically whatever you will be learning in ninth class that will also be used in 10th class in the board examination so there are multiple scenarios like this which will be helping you a lot in your 10th class so please focus on your study and that's why i'm seeing that ninth is basics of 10th okay next thing is improve mathematics and science this is a very important point from my side see uh, this point at this point of time uh, when you will study maths and science you have to work a lot on this because later on when you will start coding or you will say competitive programming there is a whole different section where you have to solve multiple mathematical questions there will be gp how to write a gp series how to find a particular term in gp how to find sum of gp there will be questions on ap okay there will be uh, questions on a uh, series like how to get the next element for that you have to have a basic maths knowledge there will be a question on finding roots of quadratic equation okay and a lot more uh, questions a lot a lot more geometrical questions and mathematical questions we do have so please focus on your uh, maths as well as science because there will be few questions related to physics also uh, like company can easily create or person can easily create questions which are related to uh, physics specifically in coding background so please improve your science and mathematics and this will also help you later on in your programming okay next things are marks and importance of focus on academics now uh, this is one thing that i have heard from many students that uh, marks are not that important how does it matters if i will score that much marks or this much marks it doesn't matter uh, i will only get passed from like with a certain uh, this uh, threshold i will pass and that's okay that's fine no it's not marks are important let me tell you a truth uh, whenever we sit in a interview or anything like that it uh, like it uh, uh, shows our personality if we are consistent throughout for example if i have uh, scored 90% in 10th 90% in 12th and then 8.9 or 9 cgpa in college then this will show that i'm consistently hard working it's not like that i will work like at a certain uh, at a certain phase of my life i was really hard working at a certain phase of my life i was not at all like working or focusing on things it will show the consistency in my like in my uh, working or in my studying things basically a company is only going to judge you on the basis of your marks uh, for your consistency okay so please uh, focus on marks they are also important also when you apply in colleges there are many colleges who take uh, like who do take in consideration your marks and earlier in j marks were important so who knows that later on at some point uh, against marks will be important for je and neat type of exam so please focus on marks please focus on your basic knowledge because you need to give multiple competitive exams you need to have a good knowledge of basic science and maths because uh, it will help you to go in a good college and then only you can understand and learn good things like in iits and iits there are multiple things like there are multiple ways multiple resources multiple help professor provides to learn things so please keep that thing in mind and please focus on your maths and science okay next next thing that you can see is use reward system if you are code if you love coding now what is this reward system that i'm talking about see the reward system i'll explain it with an example see if you love coding if coding is your hobby and you enjoy it like really nicely then what you can do is and you find social science is a boring subject you find hindi as a boring subject but you have to study there is no uh, like running from that uh, subjects right you have to study them right there is like no excuse so what you can do is you can just uh, divide it like this okay if i will study 2 hours like 3 hours if i'll study social science then uh, as a reward i will uh, do coding for one hour or for example if i'm studying four hours any subject as a reward i will solve two puzzles of like a, of something related to coding or i'll do two coding questions or something related to coding okay so that is 
one way that you can do coding in your free time also there are multiple platforms right now like we have they we have uh, code.org there we have sprite lab game lab web lab mit app inventor we have scratch platform we have g develop platform so what you can do is either you can just write the code for anything or you can also think that okay if i'll study for four hours i will develop one game from scratch so you can use uh, this kind of reward system to excel in your coding as well as in your studies okay now we are moving to our next slide where we are going to discuss for the the way of uh, taking coding like how you can how much time you need to spend and how much you need to learn in your 11th and 12th standard okay now let's come to the 11th and 12th standard so uh, the first advice that i want to give to all the student i also followed this thing that is to take computer science as a subject in your 11th and 12th how it is going to help you see in 11 12 most of the schools either teach java or python right so if you will take computer science as a subject then uh, in that case you are going to learn a lot of things i i am recently uh, posting videos on crash course of ICS for ICS students and I'm seeing that there's a lot of things that has been covered in 11th and 12th standard starting from basics to strings, arrays, data structures which include stacks, queues, linked lists, trees, also they have a recursion over there. So there's a lot of things that has been included in school syllabus and if you will take computer science as a school syllabus you're like I will say 50 to 60 percent of a good like if if, it, if we have a good coder then 50 to 60 percent of the syllabus will be covered in 11th and 12th but you have to be really good in those uh, topics and you have to solve as much questions as you can if your school book is having very less question just go on multiple platforms we also have geeks for geeks platform where you can filter out the question on the basic of school level basic level easy level also you can apply the filter for a particular section like you can find all the questions for arrays you can find all the questions for linked list or for stacks and a lot of filters we do have in our platform on our platform so please do check it out if you want to uh, do a lot of questions in your school time you can use our platform okay next uh, thing is try to make a project in field you, you are interested okay so uh, what happens is that in school you have to uh, submit project like here and there there is like science competition or something like that where you have to submit one or two project right or you there will be a project like the summer vacation project that we have in schools so you have to submit a project that's very obvious so what you can do is you can just choose the topic according to the field in which you are interested for example if i'm interested in uh, front-end development so what i'll do is i'll just figure out a topic a uh, like a project for myself and I'll start working on that on my summer vacations that way I can improve my front end development skills also I'll be creating a project also I'm completing a school work so that way you're doing your school work as well as you are learning okay the next thing is again focus on marks as they are equally important and use reward system so in 11th and 12th also you can follow the system you can use a reward system that i already told in the previous slide also please focus on marks because 12 marks are really important and again 11th is the basics of 12th okay also in 11th 12th whatever you will be studying you will be requiring that knowledge for the competition that we give for uh, multiple admissions in different different college okay so do keep that thing in your mind okay the last and main important point for me is j j e j e is very important exam for all the students who want to be engineer uh, it doesn't matter if you want to take uh, computer science or if you want to take electronics and all of that it is very important exam so you have to have to focus on your science pcm knowledge because until unless you will get good marks in j you're not going to get in any college. For example, if I'm very good in coding and I'm a, I'm a five star coder at Code Chef or Code Forces, so, uh, sorry, Code Forces. So basically, uh, that will not help if I'll not score good marks in J. I'll not be going in any IIT if I'm only good at coding. Okay, I have to score good marks in J to go into an IIT, right? So please focus on your subjects because they are equally important. Okay and they are like now i have just two tips for all the students these, these are not any class specific this is just for all the students number one is choose interest over money these days there are a lot of students who say that web web develop, developer get very good pay so we'll choose web developer as a 
field or you will some people say that okay ai engineers ml engineers get a very good pay data scientists get very good pay so i'll be that i'll choose that uh, as a career don't do that always listen to your heart this is also for the students who take a pcm forcefully in 11th standard for the, on the like because of the pressure of their parents or like someone's pressure don't do that if you genuinely have interest in something pursue that okay there's one saying that i have heard that please uh, focus on the knowledge focus on your interest focus on what you want success will come automatically to you i guess that is something i have heard in three years you guys must have also heard it okay so let's see the next point next point is make coding your hobby that is something that i have already said in the pre previous slides that make coding as your hobby because if you will make coding as your hobby you will enjoy that and you can do that in your free time it's just like people like students go students play game watch youtube scroll on instagram don't do that make coding your hobby in your free time try and write code try and solve few questions and if you're not able to do that i'm available on discord channel you can just share the link of the question as well as your solution i'll help you out for that okay so uh, yeah these are the two tips that i want to give to all the students uh, who are doesn't matter in first standard or 10th standard that, that doesn't matter so please uh, follow these two tips that will help you a lot in your future okay so that's it from my side i hope that you guys like this video if do please click on the like button and please subscribe to our channel also please share the video as much as you can and if you want uh, videos of on any other topics please let me know in the comment section i'll be more than happy to make videos for you and i will see you all next time till then take care keep learning keep coding also please join our discord channel we do a lot of fun over there and also we are going to improve a lot of things on discord channel you will enjoy there okay and also you will learn there because we are going to add some polls mcqs daily practice questions and all of that so please uh, just connect on discord also Okay, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye everyone.